Ty Raddick, one of those I'd like guys. to congratulate the Boston Bruins on their Stanley Cup victory. I'd like to thank the city of Minnesota and the Wild for their great hospitality here this weekend. Otto is proud to select from Peterborough, Matt Pumple. So Matt Pumple, left winger from Peterborough of the Ontario Hockey League, who has some of the best offensive numbers in this draft. He scored 34 goals for the Peets this year. Matt Pumple is a pure offensive player who outstanding goal scorer for the Peterborough Peets. Season was cut short by hip surgery. He went uh, to Denver and had Dr. Philip on, the noted hip specialist, do arthroscopic hip surgery. He's got a clean bill of health now, though. He was cleared by the end of May to resume full activity and just had a terrific offensive year as the OHL and the CHL Rookie of the Year, not this past season, but the year before, Pierre. Bob, the one thing you have to wonder about this player, again, how quick are his feet? I think that's the one knock. He does have the scoring ability that you alluded to, but the big question is, is he quick enough to make a difference in a flow game? And that's going to be, you see where he scores a lot of his goals from, down low where skating's really not at a premium. The big question is, will his feet become quick enough for him to match that skill level that he has with his hands? By the way, he becomes the 61st Peterborough Pete drafted by NHL teams since the draft began as an open affair in 1969. Peterborough's had more players drafted than any other team in the Canadian Hockey League. Peterborough general manager Dave Reed, who's obviously been around the block in his National Hockey League career, says there are a lot of similarities in terms of the way that Matt Pumple finds open ice to score goals as his teammate, as his Dallas Star teammate, Brett Hall, that he finds open areas that he gets to them. Now, Matt Pumple had 33 goals in 59 games in his rookie season. He had 34 goals in 55 games in, in his sophomore season, as I said, that was cut drastically short because of the hip surgery. You see Paul McLean on the far left, the new head coach of the Ottawa Senators, named last week. So changes the order of business in Ottawa, and the Sens begin it with three first-round picks in this draft. And Matt Pumple is making his way to our James Duffy. <laughs> James is getting a lot of uh, Ottawa Senators dropping by to visit, and Pumple is the latest. James. He used to cover the Sens when they first came back into the league, so it's reminding me of the old days. Matt Pumple, congratulations on becoming the Thank newest you. member of the Ottawa Senators. Bob was just comparing you to Brett Hull, which is a nice comparison. You like to think you style your game after somebody else, who? Um, yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, they're all so good to compare myself to. There's not, you know, one particular player that I can, um, you know, pinpoint who I, who I want to be like. But, um, you know, if I could play like a player like Patrick Sharp, I'd be, uh, you know, pretty happy about that. Uh, you know, he's so good and so much better than I am right now. But, um, you know, it's something I'm going to work towards. I heard Rick Nash. That's where I thought you were going there. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> one of my favorite players, too. And, uh, you know, he's not a bad player. CHL Rookie of the Year a couple of years ago. This season is cut short with the hip surgery. How are you? Are you going to be ready to play in the fall? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I've been skating the last couple of weeks and, um, you know, back into workouts and stuff like that, and I feel great. Uh, you know, I had an unbelievable surgeon in uh, Dr. Mark Philippon out in Vail, Colorado at the Stedman Clinic, and, uh, you know, I couldn't ask for anything else um, with my agent, Pat Morris, and, and everything, how it was set up. Were you concerned about that, that it might hurt your draft ranking because people would be concerned about that? Um, absolutely. I think it runs through your mind, and, um, you know, it's definitely something I thought of, but, uh, you know, like I said, the surgeon I had and, and the players he's done before, um, you know, once I met him and, and was in his office, there was no concern for myself. But, uh, you know, the teams have to do their jobs and they have to double check on, on all the players. So, um, you know, you can't blame them, but uh, I'm extremely ecstatic to be a part of the Ottawa. Well, you should be. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Matt Pumple, it's been a very busy first round for the Ottawa Senators. Here's how it looks right now as they try to remake and rebuild that team. Mika Zabinijad, the big center, they get him sixth overall. Steph Nason from Plano, Texas. They had some abrasiveness with those first two picks. And Matt Pumple, a pure goal scorer. Dave Reed said it would be a steal if they got him here, the general manager of the Peets. And Craig Button calls him the best pure goal scorer in the draft. He goes 24th overall. It will be another.